The threat for nocturnal storms increases this week in parts of the country. These are thunderstorms that happen after the sun goes down, which can make them even more dangerous. Bernie Reno takes a closer look. Well, in our weather-wise segment tonight, we're talking about nocturnal thunderstorms. It's a fascinating process. Unfortunately, it produces lots of weather, damaging winds and also flash flooding. We saw that during the overnight period last night across uh, Michigan and Ohio. We're going to get it again tonight. And it always occurs on the northern side of heat. And it depends where your upper level high is located. Now, last 24 hours, that high has been across uh, uh, Oklahoma. So what happens is you build the heat, you build the heat all afternoon hours, and then that heat is transported on the northern side of high pressure northward. So then that heat continues to come northward, and then when it intersects where you have northwesterly flow aloft, that's where the showers and thunderstorms occur, because think what's happening. That northwesterly flow aloft is bringing cool air down. So warm at the surface, cold air aloft, same situation you get during the afternoon when you get the heating of the sun, right? It's just a different process. Now, here's how it works. Typically, we don't get these thunderstorms in the afternoon. You know why? Because the sun's out, it's warming the cloud tops or warming the upper atmosphere, and you don't have a big enough temperature difference between the surface and aloft to get the instability to produce the thunderstorms. But then what happens at night? You lose the sun, you continue to bring that northwesterly flow down, right? Bringing in the cool air aloft, you don't have the sun, you start cooling the upper levels, but then here comes the heat that builds up during the day. That makes for a very unstable environment, and then the showers and thunderstorms storms blossom. They tend to peak after midnight, but then what happens in the late morning? Well, the sun comes out. You start heating the cloud tops. You start warming things. You use that temperature difference, and then the clusters of showers and thunderstorms dissipate. That's the life of these nocturnal thunderstorms. And as I mentioned, with all the heat that's trying to come northward and eastward across Ohio and Pennsylvania, look for another cluster of thunderstorms late tonight across parts of Pennsylvania and New York State.